The Nusalua Beach Hotel and Spa has been around for 35 years. In fact, it was the first five-star luxury hotel that was built along the Nusalua area. Uh, it is in a gated community area and uh, this is the ITDC or the International Tourist Development Corporation and uh, for the last 35 years we've been operating there as a five-star hotel. Uh, around the area though there are many other five-star hotels although we like to think of ourselves as unique because we've actually retained the heritage, retained the authenticity and retained the culture within the hotel itself. Well. I know since 1983, uh, you've welcomed kings, queens, presidents, uh, loads of dignitaries. Uh, the exterior front of the hotel uh, is amazing. Eh? I mean, I'm sure everybody, that all the guests and even non-guests, just spend, it's easier to spend 15 minutes, just wonder the it's amazing, gigantic, waterfalls and pools and gargles and things with water coming out of their mouth. The lobby area with bar and whatever is amazing woodwork. What kind of wood is it? It's called ironwood. 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 It, it, uh, the tallest spot is probably four stories, three, four stories. Absolutely correct. Overlooking your 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 pool, beach, uh, and it's, it's uh, so when you arrive, it's an amazing um, experience. I, frankly, <laughs> the truth is, I've never seen anything like it. Um, what, what and how do you keep it up to date? I know you do refurbish. Yes, we do. Well, to start off with, uh, as you mentioned, the very striking entrance. It's actually called a Chandi Bentar which is the Balinese split gate. You see these two huge walls go up, but they never meet. Uh, they've got a space in between, and that's a traditional Balinese architecture. And it's termed the Chandi Pentar, or translated to English, the split gate. And right behind that, we've got this lovely pond uh, with, as you mentioned, gargoyles sprouting water from its mouth. We're very grateful to the architects and the owners of those times who actually wanted the Balinese heritage and the Balinese culture to be very much a part of that hotel. It's not one gargoyle, right? I mean, it's oh, like plenty. a dozen. Yes. And and, and the, the flowers and greenery around it, that's landscape. Uh, and, and you've also got the two very old banyan trees left and right. Now the banyan trees are very special. Okay. Yeah, they're about 40 years old. Just and, flashed and, on that. Yes, and, and banyan trees are, are very peculiar in their, in their growth that when they reach a certain height, the branches actually come over, the roots come up, and then they go back down into the ground from a height of anything between five to 30 meters. Uh, and uh, it's spectacular. And we've got two of them. Talk about the, the rooms and, and spend a little time talking about your presidential premium wing. Sure. Uh, to answer the question that you, that you brought up before, it was about you know, how do we keep all that and how do we maintain the whole building. Well, we've got a team of engineers, engineering department. We spent a lot of um, investments in keeping the hotel in, a, in an immaculate condition because we, we want to be sort of the, the grand dame of the, of the New Sibua area. Uh, in terms of rooms, we've got many categories of rooms. One of the favorite categories is the Palace Club room. Palace, yeah. Yes. And the Palace Club is very much a hotel within a hotel. Uh, we've got about 85 of those rooms. They're bigger than the entry level rooms. There are about 50 to 55 square meters. Offers, of course, a bathroom, a, a, a shower, and all the normal facilities accorded to a five star hotel. We've also got the Palace Club Lounge that accompanies this 80 odd Palace Club rooms. Uh, the lounge is uh, very pretty and it offers an exclusive breakfast away from the rest of the, the guests who 
you know, we have to cater to sometimes up to six, seven hundred guests for breakfast. So, although everyone is satisfied, it can be a bit of a a rush sometimes. It wasn't too bad. Thank you. Okay, and Thank your you. monitor lizards on the pond next, ah, right ah, ah. in front of the breakfast area. Yes. And watching the kids, well, yes. and the adults too. <laughs> we've, we've got, we've got a feeding of them. Resident monitor lizards. Uh, we've now added 25 ducks. Uh, 20 of them white. Five of them in mixed colors, brown and black, just to give it some color. And uh, so breakfast is served in this very exclusive Fellas Club lounge. Then we've got non-alcoholic beverages, including coffee and tea for the whole day for Palace Club guests. We also serve a high tea in the afternoon and it's followed by a evening cocktail, alcoholic drinks included. So you could have your, your, your gin tonic. Don't forget the private beach. Oh, of course. Which is pretty good. You know, 600 guests after breakfast, they do pour to the beach. No problem there. We've got 200 meters of white sandy beach, which is very nice. Now, a new addition, which you probably are not familiar with yet, is we've added on 17 rooms, uh, and they're called our lagoon rooms. And they open up from the balcony into a very private pool. It's not one pool per room, but it's a lagoon pool, and 17 rooms can walk out onto their balcony and take three steps and they're into a swimming pool. Very private. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much, Jamal. Most welcome.